All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick little breakdown here of my custom pencil texture brushes. Um, I'll just kind of run through the ones I use the most and kind of like what they're uh, individually used for, for me personally, and kind of what I think they could be used for, for, for you know, everybody else. Um, and I'll make this really quick and succinct, and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll help you out. Um, so the one I use a lot is this uh, Pencil H Medium Modify 2 Heavy. Um, this one has a nice uh, kind of like a paper texture to it, so it kind of gives a nice kind of grit to it. So like when you're using a traditional pencil on paper, you don't have like a synthetic look like you do in Photoshop. So I've kind of designed this pencil to emulate using a uh, pencil on a sketchbook, like a, like a, um, you know, like an H pencil or a, like a, maybe a, something a little heavier, like a, um, you know, like a, a HB pencil or something. Uh, so that's, that's the one I use probably for certain types of drawings. I use that one quite a bit. Uh, the one I probably use the most is this drawing one. So Harrington 2018 drawing one texture perfect with the 15 after it. This one is a very small brush. So if you use it default, my canvas right now is about 3,000 by 3,000, uh, maybe 3,000 by 4,000 pixels. But the way I use this pencil is I use it like a mechanical pencil. So it has like a very fine tip to it. Um, so if you're trying to use it, what I would do is keep it really small like this and then just kind of use it to kind of scribble in your line um, very finely. And you can kind of build up a line similar to the way you would use either a mechanical pencil or a ballpoint pen. Um, it works really well if you're trying to like figure out what your design is without you know really committing to any lines. You can use it very kind of softly and kind of um, even a little timidly if you wanted to. It's just a really nice way to kind of figure out what you're doing without committing to any huge lines and then you can kind of shade just like you would with a mechanical pencil, really fine line. Um, this texture large, these two brushes are kind of large chunky pencils. Um, so if you look, that texture is super chunky in there. So if you're drawing with it, you can kind of use it for like more like a heavier pencil. So like if you're doing like a gesture drawing or if you're trying to, um, you know, draw something that's, you want to have a lot of texture on it. Um, that one, these two are pretty cool. So it's it's a very, very chunky kind of brush. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, and same thing with the 150s. It's a larger version. I think this one's even chunkier. So if you look, there's like a really heavy chunk to it. Um, this, this is a custom texture I made with uh, some papers that I, like some watercolor papers that I use. Um, so you can even paint with these a bit. Uh, but I usually use these mostly for drawing. They're just really nice, kind of chunky drawing pencils that get rid of that synthetic, you know, digital look. and gives it a little bit more of that hand-drawn, organic look, which is cool. Um, this one, the large texture, is a little bit more of a subtle texture in there. So you can see it's... it's uh, the lighter you go, the more you can kind of see the texture. And if you bear down and try to you know, make it a little bit heavier, the texture will start to go away a little bit. So that's just a more subtle version of that. Um, so these H pencil mediums are really good. Um, they're they're probably a little bit grainier than the other ones, and it's, it kind of gives it a nice kind of textural feel, um, similar to the effect of a traditional pencil on paper. So you can even see, as I start to just do some very light hatching, you can kind of see it looks a lot more like paper than uh, the default Photoshop brushes. So it's pretty cool. I like using those a lot. So um, H Medium, that's the one I was just using. That one's pretty light in texture. Modify 2, it's a little bit heavier. So you can see if I, if I make that circle again, or that ellipse again, and I zoom in, there's quite a bit of texture in there. So. Um, and the resolution does matter. So you want to make sure that you're working around 3,000 to 4,000 uh, pixels in each dimension. Because um, if you use it too zoomed in, it'll start to get kind of um, a little bit chunkier. Or maybe that's OK, but it's, it's going to affect the way the pencil works quite a bit. But it's cool because you can really get a somewhat of a traditional look without 
you know, much effort. It kind of looks like a nice traditional pencil um, on paper, which is great, or on canvas. So that's cool. Um, and then Modify Heavy, that's the one I was saying in the beginning that I use a lot. That has the similar textural feel, but it's a lot heavier. So it's you have to you can press down pretty hard, and you still get that textural effect. Um, and if I do some hatching, you know, it really kind of looks like a more traditional type of uh, medium than digital. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I really like drawing with these these texture brushes because it makes it immediately feel like um, a little bit more uh, tactile. It makes it feel a little bit more solid. So you already have some cool texture in your drawing right away without having to do anything, um, which is cool because sometimes that's that could be a you know an added bonus if somebody's looking at your drawing and it looks like a traditional drawing. Um, they can make it just feel a little bit more quality. People can kind of get a little bit more attached to it or sometimes it just kind of says, hey, this is a sketch, this is a drawing, so it's not a finished, um, you know, it's not a finished painting. And then people kind of get it sometimes, which is great. Um, so these ones here, the pencil texture heavier and heaviest and heavy, these are just versions of um, similar brushes to get that more traditional look, but you can kind of see that heavy and heaviest. This is a little bit more of a finer texture. So those first two here, they have these custom paper textures that I've made that have a little bit more nuance than the this kind of a, a coarse canvas texture. Uh, so this is a little bit of a softer paper look until you get down to the heaviest one, and that one has a little bit more of a coarse paper look, but it's still a little bit softer than the 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 coarse paper of the um, the H medium pencils. So I would experiment with those. Those are pretty cool. Um, and those are just different um, heaviness of a similar type of paper. Um, drawing two texture, this is my kind of cleanup brush that I use. Um, I use this one to kind of finish a drawing. So I'll kind of like outline something or clean up the line quality with this. Um, that one's pretty cool. Uh, drawing three, this has a very subtle kind of canvas texture in there. So if I just do a little bit of a tone on one side, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a canvas texture in there. Um, and that's pretty cool. Uh, that canvas texture is really subtle, um, but again, it could add a little bit of a dimension to your drawing, which is pretty neat. Um, the other thing with this one is that Drawing 3 and Drawing 4 have a tilt feature to it, so you can kind of see me tilting the pen to get a thin or a thick line, um, and that's cool because you can kind of like do different effects based on the tilt of the pen. So if you want to like do some clouds or something, you can kind of, you know, use that feature to your advantage, and it's kind of a cool way to use just like you would a, a traditional pencil, you can kind of use the edge of the brush or edge of the pencil to make a thick or thin line. So that's pretty cool. Um, same thing with the texture drawing four. Um, has a, this one has a more heavy texture, but again has that tilting feature. Um, so you can tilt your pen and get a thick or thin line, or you can kind of go in between. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, same thing with the texture drawing four. This one also has a slight canvas texture in it. But again, having that tilt, tilt feature in there is pretty cool. So Awesome. So that's pretty much it for the, um, the texture pencils. That should kind of break down most of them. Uh, but yeah, just experiment with these, have some fun with them, and uh, you know, I hope you get some use out of them because uh, it's taken me a while to develop. Um, but I've, I find that I like drawing with these better than drawing with uh, the default Photoshop brushes. So um, I've enjoyed them quite a bit, so hopefully you will too. All right, awesome guys, uh, back to you.